royal family has managed to retain its mystique while being in the public eye for hundreds of years, but a host of Google searches has revealed what people really want to know about the Windsors, and they include Does the Queen like Camilla? The research, conducted by Odds Monkey, found that British people want to know whether the Queen's regal public persona matches her private one asking questions like, Does the Queen fart? What does the Queen eat every day, does the Queen like Camilla, and does the Queen watch the crown? It offers a fascinating insight into what the general public, and people worldwide are intrigued about, when it comes to the British royal family. Yet, while Google searches about Queen Elizabeth II are extremely popular, over 14,800 people typed in the query Prince Harry naked, in search of her grandest un. The number of searches for the Ginger Prince's crown jewels actually topped the number of people, who googled David Beckham naked. And, as Prince Harry's wedding to American actress Meghan Markle on May 19 draws ever closer, Americans in particular are keen to find out what's in store, for the soon-to-be American princess. According to the data, Americans asked Google what does the Queen of England even do? And what does the Queen of England actually own? And what does the Queen of England think of Trump? The US is also intrigued by Britain's love of the royal family with questions including, why do the British love the royal family? And why do the British keep the royal family? And why are the British royal family so popular? The Queen, ascended to the throne age 25, on the 2nd of June 1953, in a glorious coronation at Westminster Abbey. She took the throne a year after the death of her beloved father King George IV, who died in February 1952. The Queen officially took up her role a year on, because she wanted sufficient time to pass to respectfully mourn her father's death. Queen Elizabeth II is monarch of 16 countries including the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Pakistan and Ceylon. As of 2017, she is head of state and reigning constitutional monarch over Commonwealth countries including, Jamaica, New Zealand, Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Grenada, Papua New Guinea, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Solomon Islands, Tuvalu. Yet, despite being one of the most photographed women in the world over the past 66 years, some search queries asked what does the Queen of England look like? Other common searches work in the royal family take selfies? And do the royal family pay tax? And other people asked whether the royal family, have personal social media accounts and if they vote? And, while the royals are known for being notoriously private, the elusive and reserved nature of the royal family has created a sense of intrigue among the general public leaving people with many questions about royal family life. Odds Monkey, a betting firm, conducted their research into Google searches, by gathering data from simple search phrases such as, can the royal family, does the queen, can Prince Harry, and why does the queen. The research revealed that many people are interested in the royal family's diet with queries such as, can the royal family eat garlic? Can the royal family eat seafood? And can the royal family eat swans? Express was the first to reveal two crucial details about the Queen's eating habits, which had laid unknown for decades. This included the revelation that the Queen likes her tea to be made with tea in first, and not the milk in first, according to the butler to Prince Charles and wife Camilla. Butler, Grant Harold also waded into a debate on scones after Express revealed Her Majesty likes her scones, with jam first and then clotted cream. He said that the monarch is a master of diplomacy and decorum accommodating those she visits. He revealed, if Her Majesty was visiting Cornwall she would spread the jam on first then the cream, or in Devon, it would be cream first then jam, because that is the way they do it and she is a very diplomatic lady.